Uh, so we'll do the watchtowers, and then you can put the watchtowers on top of buildings. I'm not betting materials. Okay, right, let's try and capture this building. The Luddies. Back when we had things like the internet and reliable electricity, I never understood people who insisted living off the grid. But now that we have to survive without that stuff, those folk don't look so silly anymore. Yeah, they're, they're another faction that we've got to be wary of, so... Thing is, if you take land too close to some of them, they get angry. And that's when you've got to be a little bit careful. Right, we've got a zombie horde there. Uh, a fire broke out. We won't help. I'm sorry. You wouldn't help us. So, In fact, maybe they do help you, actually. Uh, we're keeping the office, my friend. We're keeping the office. Kind of distribute some of these people because there's freaking loads in there. She's nearly finished the power thing. The principal power plant part. We just got word from our engineers. They got most of the power plant in working order, but there's a problem. The main generator is missing an important field coil, and we don't have any spares on hand. We might be able to make ourselves, but it ain't going to be easy. We're going to need a workshop and a heck of a lot of materials. I don't like pushing our engineers for more after all the work they've put in. Okay, do we have a workshop? No, we don't. However, we can... I don't think we do anyway. If we do, I'm blind. We can now build one. So we'll build one over there. We'll keep them learning, actually. Defensive building upgrade. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to send them all in there to kill. And we're going to bring her back to upgrade a tower. Because we don't want to lose our research thing. We made them mad. Okay. This is why I really want... Um, Where's the Banshee? The Banshee's there. This is why I like training everybody up. Because we do eventually have to take out these people. Well, I think you do anyway. I, I do, because it's fun. Uh, so if we send all of them in there get him to recruit right, we'll get him to claim that and we'll send them all in there one thing that I do notice if someone's full defense and they're in the school and say you've got 10 people in the school all learning defense it kicks everybody out if they level up full so, if one person fully levels up, it kicks out everyone instead of the fully leveled out person. Which is kind of annoying, but oh well. He's traumatized. Recruitment. I could hear these two fighting from a block away. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, good news is they both want to join us. Take both. We got a... Uh, Pricey power plant part. Seems Lud caught wind of our trouble and it just so happens he's got the part. We could threaten them with violence. Let's do it. Probably wasn't a bright idea for Lud to have brought the part along with him. A few short words and guns pointed at him and he handed it over. Nice.
We'll get her to install the part. And we'll get them all in the school learning. Ah, so a Ludi. Attracted zombies over. Those dirty Ludies. We need to defend this. Although with one guy. You saw the signs, a man. Oh, so he saw our signs. Okay, we'll accept him. And it says he's a doctor, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's always nice to have a doctor. Send them there. So that's green now. So that should be, should be okay. Um, one good thing about having a workshop is you can uh, start making ammunition and stuff. Farm bonus. Nice, the Scarecrow competition paid off. Well, I'm going to send him up there to help, just in case she gets invaded or something by the Ludies. You never know. Um, so we can craft ammunition or explosives. We're going to craft ammunition. Tech sabotaged. All our research notes on basic traps are missing. Books lost. It's obviously, my guess is the Ludies. Oh no. The freaking Ludies, man. Those bastards. People can do what they want. Okay. Right, what's that? Kill the Banshee. Okay. Let's kill it. Right. Now that they've done that, we need to train. We need to train our defense. Because we got to take on the freaking Ludis, man. These saboteurs, man. They keep... They keep sabotaging our freaking... They won't let us make basic traps. They just won't. The power is all mine. All mine. We spent the evening dancing through the streets with... Uh, uh, and we only want the only ones dancing. I don't know that I've seen many moths since. City now has electricity. I don't actually know what that means. Like if it means we gain anything. Like we're quicker at doing stuff or... Those Luddies really want to keep us in the Stone Age. They broke in and let a zombie loose in one of our labs, trying to make it look like an accident. We managed to kill it, but it wrecked all our research. Are you serious? All our research? No way. No, it's fine. We've, we've got most of our... We've got all our research. It's fine. I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. I am going to start... Um... Oh, we need Bob. Get down in there. Right, where are these Luddies, man? Where are these Luddies? They're up here somewhere, weren't they? Let's start taking this... Let's start taking this area. I'm sick of these bloody Luddies. Oh, nice. So we can craft traps now. There's nothing left to research, so we'll send them in there to... We'll send them all in there to learn defense. Uh, throw them out. We don't want those berries. We'll take them both. The only, the, um, the only downfall of taking them both is you lose one medicine, I think. Um... 
So it's not too much of a big deal, to be honest. We'll put them in there to learn defense. Because these Luddies, man, they don't know who they're dealing with. They don't know who they're freaking dealing with, man. Right, so if we send him up there to kill zombies, send him there to kill zombies, and we'll send those two to go learn some defense because they're research people. We caught a saboteur. We caught a suspicious man messing with our wall at the grocery store today. He had a full backpack. Okay, we interrogate him roughly, man. Fortunately, the man died. When he attacked him with a blade, but we discovered that he was a member of the Luddy. Who do these guys think they are, man? Who do they think they are? Uh oh. Faction deserter. Someone named Jamal stopped by the fort today. Until this morning, he was one of the Luddies, but he said they'd sent him on one dangerous mission too many. And it was time for him to get out there. I know Lud and the Luddies will be annoyed if we poach one of them. Lud was unhappy to hear about the deserter, but agreed there was no hard feelings. Okay, cool. So we got a new person. So we're starting to uh, reclaim some good area and if we do ever need materials and stuff we can just scavenge all this crap. Okay now this is where it's going to start getting tricky because there's several areas that these guys, we got loads of ammo now so we can bring her out. Oh he's so screwed. Yeah, we lost the apartment, unfortunately, but we can probably... Oh, we can't do that, because we want to defend that. We'll probably lose this apartment now as well. We'll finance churches and bars evenly. Too far away, so we can't capture that. Put them there. She got injured, wow. Uh, church reclaimed. Did someone reclaim something of ours? Oh, they're already in there killing, aren't they? Should be okay, Orange. It shouldn't be too bad. What if we send him in there? Uh, get her to reclaim that. Get them to kill the zombies in there. We've got plenty of food. Since we've been down on our lock. No, we don't need food. We just need more farms, to be honest. Right, we can send them up there to defend. We can send him there to reclaim. Her there to reclaim. And we're going to start turning... What you can also do is you can actually chop down wood to, uh, to get resources. But we do have 17, so we should be okay. Uh, what I am going to do is, though, I am going to start making some more farms. So, build a farm there. Uh, that's, we can build a farm there. In fact, we can probably, yeah, we can kill them. It's yellow, it's fine. 
Another saboteur attracted zombies. We need to we need to take out these freaking luddies, man. Leaving the luddies. I never thought we'd meet someone who was too crazy for the luddies. But here she is at our front gate, ranting about cyborgs. She's leaving town after a fight with her felly. Let's share our research. We get we got food. Nice. Okay, now we need to defend our base down here. Hopefully, yeah, I was going to just about to say hopefully these guys. Okay, we should be. We should be all good there. We've got so many projects going on at the moment with people. Okay, we'll bring her down there. We'll send him in there to reclaim that. So we get them to scout. Let's find where these bloody Luddies are. We'll keep the bank, thank you. Uh, volunteer guards are enough. Oh, this is quite cool. We want to try and capture this bridge, really. We want to capture all this and claim the bridge. Because once you claim the bridge, they've only got one way across, you see. So it's pretty, it's, uh, pretty good. good. Uh, we'll send him down there. We've got a farm there now. We are gaining more food. Uh, we'll build another farm and we'll send these guys oh we can claim we can reclaim that okay let's get one of these guys to reclaim that let's get him to go in there wow we've got a lot of people in this group Kill zombies. Let's try and claim this section pretty quickly. The good thing about this map, building destroyed, mission cancelled. Bloody Ludis, man. What did they saboteur our farm? Who do these people think they are? Oh, what we can do is actually we can upgrade and put towers on these buildings whilst whilst we're there doing nothing although because in fact no maybe we shouldn't maybe we should keep them in defense for now Okay, nice. Uh, Court Saboteur, we're going to question her. The spy was surprisingly talkative once we offered her a comfort. We should have interrogated that bloody Luddy. We should have. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Kill 24 zombies. I'm a freaking pro. I can do it all on my own. Oh, she's still over here. She's obviously just finished building that farm and we never gave her anything else to do. Uh, we'll get her to build a... Another farm. Slavers. Guy Walker never should have trusted those travellers. Um, we don't have much food. We'll fight them. I stalled, pretending to negotiate the price while the others snuck into position. We laid into the slavers mercilessly, cutting down, cutting them down where they stood. After we put a couple in the ground, the rest ran off. Okay, cool. So we might be able to take that out now. Yeah, we can. I have a feeling they're going to try and take our farm. Let's 
the motel when Zan jumped us the bad fight this woman showed up out of nowhere with her wolf and dog and saved our bacon I remember seeing them at the fort a while back when she saved the night ah oh, that's nice so because we treated her nicely she saved us Oh, it's because it's... Is it too far away? Oh, we need materials. Okay. Well, we'll chop loads of wood then. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go and attack. We'll go and attack. There, we're running out of materials now. Lone Lloyd caught someone trying to break into our storeroom today. The man was seriously unhinged. We haven't seen the attacker since. I can only help you. Okay. So we basically need more materials. So once these guys are done, I'll send them all on chop wood duty. And our materials should go up quite quickly. We currently got zero. Uh, we'll get them in there to kill that zombie. I will take the boomerang. It works as a good weapon. So we've got one material now, so we can claim that. Get them to kill that. Get them in there chopping wood. Get as many people as we can chopping wood. Get some, get our materials up. Oh, I was just out on a stroll and we caught the saboteur. I bet we'll be looking for some way to weaken our wall. Yeah, well, well we're going to eventually get this bridge, which will be quite good. So we're starting to get plenty of materials now, which is pretty, pretty cool. And if we send her up there to... Oh, we need two materials for that. We'll send her up there to claim that anyway. Right, everything's looking okay at the minute. Yeah, these take up so much space. Bill became a devout. Build the woodcutter. We're desperate for building materials and can't reclaim any buildings until we get more. So I wonder if it's just a coincidence that someone pulled up with a pickup truck full of lumber. His name is Bill and he's got a family waiting for him out on the hills. Okay, we'll invite him for lunch. He gave us 10 materials. Bill sat down and relished his simple meal. He said he gets materials from demolishing buildings, cutting them... Before he left, he told us about a nearby cache of materials we could have. Okay, cool. We've got this huge horde coming along now, which isn't too great. Right. Now that we've got some materials, I'm going to send our people into the school to learn defense. They're still chopping wood there, which is quite good. In fact, we can probably reclaim that now. Right, we've got this huge horde here, which I'm a bit worried about. A pack of wolves dug their way under the walls. Oh, holy crap, where did that come from? The Luddies raided our church earlier today. Fortunately, we had rigged the place with traps. We beat them easily. Right, we're interrogating them. Okay, we need to stop for a second here because things are starting to get a bit crazy. We need to capture this section here because zombies came from there, which means that there's unoccupied lots down there. Ooh, 
We'll probably lose this area. Uh, we'll send them there. We'll get Bob down here to negotiate. Ah, oh, trust them to go in that way. We lost the park. Okay, well, we'll take the park straight back. And uh, we will... Kill the zombies in here. Kill the zombies in there. Natural disaster. It was our school. I knew it. You like when I was when I was playing this game, the building that kept just getting destroyed was the bloody school. I could hear these two fighting. Uh, we'll take them both. The problem is, if they're fighting and you have them in the same area, sometimes they have, like, issues. What the hell's that? Is that a banshee? A salvage crash. Okay, we'll go there in a bit. Right, so we're starting to reclaim, we've reclaimed this area now, which basically means that's safe. And the only way zombies are going to come in is through the bridge. Now, I want to know, that's owned by those kids. Is this, this is the Luddies. The Luddies are the green people down here, which means we already know where they are. Okay, guys, so I just checked um, my recording because I was worried that I didn't have enough space, etc. on my computer. And it turns out that I actually ran out of space on my hard drive because I've been recording a lot of something else. And it turns out that for the last half an hour of playing this map, it hasn't been recording. Um, so basically, what I wanted to just show you was uh, where I am on this map now. Um, the Luddies kept attacking us, which was extremely irritating, and so did the little kids. Basically, what I did was I formed our team. I formed our, like, our, um, what would you call it? Our people into three groups, like one, two, three. And I basically took out the Luddies one by one. Um, and to do that, all I did was click on, uh, click on a piece of their land and click clicked attack and we took them out really easily we lost no people um and once we wiped them out we gained a couple of their followers etc um now i just had a message pop up saying that now you've removed the luddies and the school kids from the map you can progress onto the next level so i've basically as you can see captured this whole map so what i will do is i will move on to the next level and um so let's just leave the city because in the next level there's more factions so obviously i'm not sure how much footage um oh, i gotta click go don't i i'm not sure if i started attacking them before the footage ran out or whether you didn't see me attack them at all um but if you didn't see it we fixed them up with water and stuff so we can leave now. Diane, you would have been proud of what we built in Wenatchee. It's a real place to... S oh, that's the um, that's the person who died, I think. Uh, just not for me. I got itchy feet again. I've heard this place up in Canada, a big lab that was working on a cure for the disease. The town's got a catchy name. Hope if it's still there. So, we did pretty well there. We got We killed a lot of zombies. Um, and because we did it on normal difficulty, we lost less points. And because we had so many survivors living, we uh, we kind of negated the days, which is pretty nice. Uh, so the next one is Moses Lake. We're heading right into the urban downtown uh, this time. There should be plenty to scavenge here, but we'll have to build our own farms. So this is the town that I was talking about where there's no farms. A couple of gangs are fighting over the territory and making life miserable for people who don't want to pick up sides. Sounds almost as bad as zombies. I hope we can reason with them. So we'll play it on normal again because uh, it's not too difficult. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to leave this uh, leave this here and in the in the next playthrough I will show you uh, level 3 
and I will make sure that you guys can see me when I'm attacking the other factions. To be honest, it's not too interesting. You basically just click on their land, click attack, and it's basically like taking over, like, like when you take over zombies, you take over their land. The only difference is when you attack them, you automatically claim the land at the same time, so it's a lot easier. Um, so I'll leave this, I'll leave this here, and uh, if you are enjoying this series, be sure to keep liking the videos. Um, and as long as they keep getting likes and you guys watch them and stuff, I'll keep doing it. If it starts to uh, get a bit boring and people find the game to be too repetitive and stuff, then I'll slowly stop um, and maybe do a different game. But a huge thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.